This would be perfect for the eight ounce challenge. It has four shells. I think I would be have, have enough paint to make it maybe four different colors, or maybe I can do it all in the same color, but I really think I can get an entire uh, shelf painted with one eight ounce sample drawer. This is our shelf, and this is our sample paint. We're gonna see if we can get this covered with a uh, paint blend using Summer Crush and two other colors uh, with a total of eight ounces. So I've used probably about four ounces of this one, if that, and then the other two colors I'll use less of. So here we go with our first coat. The shelf has been primed with Salvation Solution a stain blocking primer to prevent any bleed through. When I do the paint blending, I'll be using a, a mister bottle, but this is just to get the uh, base coat on. Okay, so there's lots of new stuff going on right now. I have uh, a new color. We're painting with a new color, Summer Crush. We're gonna be paint blending. That's also new for me. We're gonna put cake batter and crinoline in addition to the Summer Crush. So Summer Crush will be is obviously our background color that we applied earlier and will be our outer portion. And then the next color in will be cake batter. And then the color inside of that will be crinoline. Another new thing is we have new paint brushes. So I have uh, paint brushes from Debbie, which I think I got from Jamie Ray Vintage a long time ago. They're, I love these brushes and so they're fabulous. And then Debbie just came out with new brushes. So I'm, I just opened up one, this is, the one that is a perfect size for fitting into a small jar, a sample size jar. So that's perfect for our challenge, our project, our eight ounce challenge, perfect size brush for that. And oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And these bristles are so soft. I can't wait to use that. I have four brushes because after watching Debbie's video on paint blending, she recommended that we have four brushes. So I have four synthetic uh, quality brushes. So I feel like I have that. Um, and we, so we're gonna, we're gonna have one brush for each color, that, that's three, and then we're going to have one for blending, a uh, neutral brush for blending. So lots of new stuff going on. We have our Mr. Bottle, and uh, we're, we're just gonna try it out, see how this paint blending trick works. <laughs> so we'll start by uh, applying a little bit more of our base color and using the Mr. Bottle. I have my all my paints lined up here, my brush is ready to go. So uh, just applying a little spray, which should help our paint apply uh, even more smoothly than it normally does. I'm gonna do this as our frame. We have cake batter going on here now, blending just inside the frame of Summer Crush. Now I'm going to put some crinoline in the middle and then we'll take our neutral brush and blend. You want to take light and blend to dark. So I'm gonna do that a little bit here. Blending it into the dark. 
And then I need to take the light, blend it into the, the extra light, and then blend that into the medium. And then I'm gonna get my neutral brush and try to blend the whole thing. Woo, this is a neat technique. Brushing, Woo, this is fun. This brush is so light, the bristles, I can barely tell that I'm touching anything. I think we're gonna like that. And we can always, you know, keep misting and changing as, as I work down on the shelves, but it's much more interesting than just this, to my eye, than just the solid color shelf. I think having this blend is, much more interesting. Ooh, okay, move down to the next shelf. So after applying the paint to the top shelf here, I realized that uh, I don't wanna contaminate my little samples of paint since I'm using so little paint. Obviously, I'm gonna have other projects for, for the cake batter uh, project and also for the, uh, well, for all the colors. Summer Crush, I'm not gonna use 100% of any of these colors. So. I put them on little dishes, so. We'll put this coat of wax on and let it sit overnight and buff it in the morning and see if it needs another. Our clear wax has been on the piece overnight, I'd say about 18 hours, and now we're gonna just buff it. I have a microfiber cloth and I have a buffing brush, so uh, either will work, and uh, sometimes it just seems easier to get into certain areas with one or the other, so I'm gonna do probably a little bit of both. But you can see how it uh, just immediately starts to uh, bring a nice shine when you buff the clear wax. If you're interested in purchasing any of the products we used in this video, or the brushes, or the wax, the paint, visit crazyforecasters.com. That's crazy, the number four, casters, O-R-S at the end. Think a casterwheel.com crazyforcasters.com thanks for watching <laughs>